Hey guys, hey, 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 uh, let's see. Google Classroom is kind of, is tripping out right now, but I think we're gonna forge on and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the first part of the uh, sectional view here and then uh, actually make the section view. So the good thing about this is we don't have to deal with any dimensions. Uh, I'm gonna actually start with the uh, top view here. So I'm gonna start on the X, Y plane right here and I'm gonna make us a rectangle. Now you can follow these dimensions if you want or you can use your own. Um, again, the nice thing about this is we don't really have to deal with uh, with making our, our part to scale. So we can kind of just have the freedom to kind of just approximate it. So I'm gonna start with a one by four rectangle that's looking a little bit too long. So I'm gonna change that to one to three and that looks pretty good right there. All right, and then I'm going to extrude it to a thickness of, let's try one point uh, two five inches, one and a quarter inch right there. Ooh, let's uh, let's undo that. That that still looks a little too much. Let's see. Let's extrude right there. One point two five is that much? No, no. Let's try point seventy five and see how that looks. It's still a little too thick. Let's just go with a point five. All right, there we go. That's looking about like it. All right, now we're going to do the cut in on the top of it right here. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch right here on the top, and then I'm going to cut in a rectangle. Let me make sure the microphone's working. Cut in a rectangle right here. And we'll do it pretty wide. I want it to go pretty much all the way there. Okay, now I'm going to put some dimensions on this thing. I want to go evenly from side to side. Oh, so we'll go right there. Let's do that 0.15, and then we'll go 0.15 as well on the other side. 0.15, okay, fantastic. And then from the back, let's dimension this one right here. Let's uh, do that. That's looking about right, so we'll just say 0.3. All right, there we go. And now we're going to do a cut extrusion. We're not going to cut all the way through, but we're going to do a cut extrusion to a depth of about a 0.2. There we go. All right, so we have the uh, basics here. Now we're going to start another 2D sketch. And uh, let's see here. Now, unfortunately, things are not quite centered. But not to worry, we're going to do a hole. Let's see, let's find that center point and then we'll go straight over from the center point. And we're gonna draw us this kind of smokestack like object with a diameter of 0.35. Perfect, okay, we'll finish the sketch and we will extrude that out. Now, point two, we want it to go up and above. So I'm gonna make that a distance of 0.4. There we go. Now we're going to start another sketch right here, and we're going to put the small, small hole in there. Let's, again, find the midpoint. Track over an appropriate distance. Looks like it's kind of short on there. Again, don't follow what I'm doing unless you want to. You can, uh, you can do your own thing there. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll do a cut extrusion of this one. Again, press that cut button right there, going all the way through. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at this from the top. Good. Take a look at it from the side. Good. All of my angles are looking good. Now we just need to get this uh, sort of funny shaped half rectangle, half circle in there. Oh, let's start a sketch on the top. Did it work? I believe so. And uh, let's put us a rect. Let's again, let's find that center point. So let's see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to project geometry of the top here. Then I'm just going to draw a construction line. So I'm going to check that construction button right there. I'm going to draw a construction line that goes all the way across like that. So now I know where that center line is, right? And that's good. You can see I have my line, uh, my hole and my my smokestack type thing lined up right there. Okay, so with our center line, let's uncheck construction. So we're not doing construction lines anymore. Now we're drawing object lines. And let's put in a, uh, a rectangle right here that's sort of symmetric upon that. Let's see, and we'll, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, let's see, let's do point, point 0.25 by four. Mm, no, let's go point 0.3. Okay, 0.25 by 0.3, good. And then we will dimension the distance from there to there, 0.13, and from there to there, 0.12, cancel. Okay, so we'll just change this one since we want it to be symmetric. We'll just do 
0.125. So that is half of, so 0.25 divided by two is 0.125. So that's gonna get us exactly squared on there. Then it should be pretty easy. We'll just draw an arc right here. Let me zoom in a bit from there to there, making sure to see that tangent constraint come up. Okay, we have that. Let's just trim away this thing, trim away that one. Oh, can't do that. Uh, yes, okay, because we have our dimension. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. We'll just delete that, and uh, we'll delete that line as well. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now let's uh, finish the sketch, okay, and we will extrude this. Does this go all the way through? I don't believe it does, but it goes most of the way through. So let's see. Let's extrude that. Let's do a cut extrusion. Uh, to a depth of 0.3. There we go. Now we have it. Okay, we've made the part. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, save as, and we could call it the uh, the funny boat. Funny boat. And we'll go ahead and save that. Okay. Now, in order to make our section view, we're going to start a new thing right here. And this is not going to be, we're, we don't want to start just a standard drawing. We want to make sure to start title block sheet A so that we have our appropriate dimension sizes, all that stuff. It's going to ask you, you should put in all this information. I'm going to do it because as we know, we got that 10 minute recording limit. I'm feeling it coming on. Okay, so we're going to base it and we're going to find it. Okay, now remember you have four, you have a bunch of different arrows you can use. So find your front view. There's, now that is actually the back view, right? Here's the front view. Remember, you can rotate it like this and like this if you need to. Find the front view and then click on the isometric view and then drag that into position. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do all the time. Make sure the shading is checked. Make sure your hidden lines are off for the isometric and we'll put it in there. Okay, now we're going to put in another base. Now, normally I would do my front side, but my front view this time is actually going to be a section view. So instead, I'm going to go over here like this, like this, and like this, and I'm going to find that front view, okay? And now I'm going to find the top view, okay, good. Now you can see the top view is kind of matching up here. It's actually top on the view cube because I was careful when I chose my planes at the beginning. All right, now we'll turn the hidden lines on. Why not? And uh, we'll turn the shading off, and there we go. There is my top view. Now I need to put in the section view, and this is the kind of the where what we're trying to get to with this one. All right, so with my section view, I'm going to click on section right here. Okay, and I'm going to select the uh, part that I want to do the section view on. And now you can see like it's giving me all the lines. Now I want to do a section view right in the middle right here. So I'm going to click right there on the midpoint. And I'm going to drag it all the way across. And I'm going to click right there. And then I'm going to right click. So I'm just clicked once to start that line wants to stop that line and now it wants to keep going and wants to keep sectioning but i'm not going to do it i'm going to right click and i'm going to go to continue now you can see the section appears i'm going to pull it down to where i want it and there it is okay now if you go back and we will redo that one one more time because i think we have a bit of time still uh so let's do you click on the section view you want you click to start the line uh, you click to place the second part of the line. If you want to keep lining, you can. If you have a section that includes more lines, then you're going to right click and you're going to go to continue. Now you can do all your things. You can change it. You can change the label. You can change the shading aspects, all of that stuff. In this case, we're just going to go right here to this one. We're going to click OK or we're going to click to set it. And there you go. There's my section view. Now you can see there's A and there's A and there's, what do you know, section AA. The last thing to do to really fully uh, detail this would be to put our right view on here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's base up there. I believe that is our right part, but let's check and make sure. Uh, nope, it wasn't. Okay, again, always find that front view. Find the front view first and then go ahead and take a look at the right view. Now notice that this doesn't actually match up. This says it's right view already, but I'm going to know that it's actually not that this right here. Okay, we're, we're approaching the recording limit. Perfect, I'm gonna make sure hidden lines are turned on and I'm gonna click okay. And there you go, this looks almost identical to what it looks like on the paper minus the fact that we have the section view. So you could just go ahead and copy it on there if you want. Uh, that's it, perfect timing with this video. Love it when that happens. Thank you for watching, good luck making your stuff.